You know, one of my favorite aspects about some of the things that I do is meeting people with very similar interests, be it hiking or rock climbing, or in this case, making dumb videos for the internet. Well, recently I was lucky enough to meet and work with this guy named Matt, who took the time out of his schedule to come help me install a heater on my van. Matt is in the process of building his van, so I figured I want to showcase some of Matt's amazing skills and work because, well, your craftsmanship is like way better than mine. <laughs> well, mine thanks, just man. slapped together like an idiot did. <laughs> the dude can really build some stuff. So today, I'm gonna give you a little tour of Matt's van. So without further ado, I present you with a van named Ursa Minor. So we got a Ram ProMaster 2500. It's the 159 wheelbase, not extended. We decided to buy this van earlier than we originally expected to because of the color. As you can see, this granite, beautiful gray. <laughs> but uh, let's get on in there and check it out. All right, so we're inside. The first thing you'll notice is we have two swivel seats. One of the things that we wanted to do was make sure to really open up the space and be able to entertain with a couple of guests. Uh, coming down here, we actually level out the floor, uh, which was one of our little pet peeves about the floor angling down, so that we have a step that you can actually set your feet on from the swivel seats, and it added some extra storage, like propane tanks, all sorts of tools <laughs> currently. We are in the middle of our van build, so uh, there's always tools that are lying around all over the place. <laughs> the plan for the future is to have a lagoon mount uh, somewhere on our bench so that we can have a table that can either pull in front of these, pull in front of the bench, uh, what have you. Over here, we have our couch. We decided to make it as long as possible because we will be traveling with two dogs. Uh, so this, all the way to this bin, is going to be the couch. Uh, moving down, we will have a pull-up pantry, which basically this bin is acting as right now. Um, so we're hoping to have all of our food storage here uh, and all that. Uh, moving back to the front, down here, currently we have a Yeti cooler, um, but this space is going to be for a Dometic CFX 55 liter 12 volt fridge. Um, so that will be on drawer slides pulling out uh, to be able to get groceries in and all that. Um, grab it when you're cooking and stuff like that. The next compartment is our electrical spot. We are actually using a Goal Zero uh, system. Uh, we're planning to upgrade to a Yeti 3000X. Uh, currently we only have a 400 and it's doing the trick for the lights and all that. So um, happy to uh, <laughs> say we aren't overloading it right now. In the last compartment, we have a Wabasto Airtop 2000 STC heater. Um, so that was very important for us to go to colder climates. Uh, me and Katie are originally from Minnesota and Wisconsin. So um, they're cold in the winter. And if we wanna go out for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever it be, we'll definitely need a heater. Moving on over to the passenger side, we have a 50 inch countertop uh, with a sink cutout uh, to make the whole countertop all the way across. Um, coming on down, we also have a flip up to add another 16 inches of countertop, nice flat countertop all the way down. So that when we're cooking over here uh, with our stove top, you know, we'll have all this space to be cutting vegetables, doing whatever we need to do to prep. Recently, I put in this tile backsplash. Uh, so that'll be a video you can find over on my channel. Um, I used an adhesive that is supposed to be very flexible. Uh, these are real tile, real subway tiles, and uh, it should be uh, flexible enough that they weren't gonna fall off as we're driving down bumpy roads. Uh, so hopefully that is the case. <laughs> Moving on up here, um, we have gas struts with our cabinets. And it makes me feel so good when they close like that. Uh, these have a push button um, twist latch so that even if you forget to uh, pop that shut, they stay locked until you twist them open. Um, it's the same one that we have on the back side of our water cabinet, which you can see here. We have access to two seven gallon jugs of fresh water and our six gallon gray water from either the front side or going out the back side at the door. Um, we ended up going with a SureFlow water pump to run our whole system um, and it will pull out of these jugs so that we have 14 full gallons uh, when we have them full up, full up. That is run to our sink so that we have running water. So 
These ones are set in further so that when you're working at the countertop, you're not hitting your head. As we move back into the bedroom, these shelves are a lot bigger. So we call them our his and her closet. They come out a lot further. Um, you know, you can just tuck your feet under there when you're in the bed. Uh, so as you can see, our bed is a lot higher than uh, most beds in a van. Uh, the reason for that is we wanted to carry four bikes in our garage. So uh, let's go back there and check that out. Coming into the garage, the number one thing we wanted to do was carry mountain bikes and gravel bikes. I made the bed high enough so that my gravel bike without a dropper post can fit in here. Uh, we did end up putting them on pull-out drawer slides. And they lock into place so that we can work on getting our bikes out without them falling when we're on a hill. This tray over here is going to house our mountain bikes. But right now it has some um, chairs and a table and uh, also we're carrying our moonshade. So back here, we also have a water tap that comes from our pump out front. In the future, it is going to have a shower nozzle so that we can hose off our dogs, the bikes, whatever it be back here, um, you know, being conscious of the 14 gallons. But over here, we also have an AC plug if we need in the back. And this will be our garage lights, which aren't mounted yet because I'm still working on finding out uh, how I'm going to do another storage option over here so that we have cubbies that we can slide in you know, items like this, our backpacking gear, climbing gear, whatever it be. We also have those back corners that are pretty hard to access. Inside the van, where that wall is going into the bed, I am going to cut a center hole so that we can access, it's like an access hatch to get to those back corners. Uh, so we will do everything we can to just cram stuff back here. <laughs> One of the other things we'll be able to do is on the roof, I made a DIY roof rack where we're gonna have some storage space to be able to put a platform up there. So if we want, we can store stuff on the roof as well. All right, coming back around to the other side of our van. We ended up going with some BF Goodrich TAKO2 all-terrain tires. Uh, it definitely gets us back some dirt roads that you know the standard slick tires don't really do. And uh, it was a happy upgrade that the dealership you know, hooked us up with. As we move past that, you can see a shore power plug. We just did a standard 15 amp uh, hookup. It is basically just a pass-through connector. It actually is a way we can you know, plug in our goal zero to the wall and charge it up. Uh, a 30 amp plug wouldn't have charged the goal zero any faster, so didn't find there being any reason not to do it that way. But another way we can charge, let's get up on the roof. We got some solar panels. All right, so moving up on the roof, I made an 80-20 uh, roof rack all extruded aluminum. I think the lines look pretty damn good. <laughs> all DIY. I used the mounts from DIY van um, for the pins that are on the van. I didn't want to drill into the roof of the van um, all that much. All I did was drill for two max pans as well as the solar inlet that goes in there, which I have videos for all those things on my channel. But one of the proudest uh, achievements that I have, a 45 degree tilt mount. So I have two 100 watt Renogy solar panels. Uh, they are the Renogy Eclipse, so they're a little bit more efficient. I made it so that in the winter uh, sun, when it's you know a lot lower on the horizon, uh, you can get a lot more uh, sun pouring in. Uh, so that way, you know, it all uh, works up to top up our batteries. So that's the van. Hope you enjoyed this tour. Of course, it's not done yet, so lots more will be coming uh, up in the future. But. Uh, as you can see, it is in a spot where we can actually take it out and enjoy it. So that's been a big plus. <laughs> so there it is, that's Matt's van. Make sure to head over to his channel to see how he's built everything in a bit more detail, as well as to see some of their trail videos. It was an absolute treat having him out to not only help with my Wabasto install, but just to get to know him for a few days. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>
I'll have all these things. I'll have all these. I'll have all these. Blah, 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 blah. I haven't even started drinking. <laughs>